Hello Zebrahead, welcome to Cadence of Hyrule. This is a really interesting spin-off Zelda game. It's actually made by some indie developers. If you don't know, there's this game called Crypt of the Necrodancer, and it's sort of like a dungeon crawling game, but it is a rhythm game as well, so you play it to the beat of the music. And this is Crypt of the Necrodancer featuring The Legend of Zelda and its own original game, Cadence of Hyrule. So it sort of combines both worlds. I have played Crypt of the Necrodancer before, but I gotta be honest, I'm really, really bad at it. I have no sense of rhythm, so I don't know how this series will turn out, but I am definitely gonna have fun with the game, so hopefully you guys will too. So let's get started with Cadence of Hyrule. Every world has its evils. And when the balance of power is inevitably lost. Oh no. Not good. It's up to the courageous. And the wise. To restore it. But sometimes... Sometimes. They need a little extra help. Oh no! Wow. All right, so Cadence, is this her name Cadence? I don't think, it, I, don't, I don't remember. But uh, this is the main character of the normal Crypt of the Necrodancer game. Hey, hey you! I saw you fall from the sky. That that landing wasn't very graceful. Are you okay? Oh, you're not a Hylian. So you're new here. I'm Trill, nice to meet you. Oh, that is super cool. Looks like you can still move. I'm glad you're not injured. But you have unfortunate timing. Something strange has been going on in Hyrule. Oh, really? So it looks like we're not quite at like moving to the beat yet. What is this up here? Can I attack? Uh, oh, I can. I just have to move up to it. Oh, the music's already good. I am super excited for this. I do want to warn people, I'm probably going to be really bad at this game. I wish it was some other way, but I just, I have no sense of rhythm, especially while I'm trying to talk to you guys. So it's going to be tough, but it'll be fun. So you know what, that's what matters. Ooh, this is an interesting dungeon. So I can't quite see everything until I walk up to it. Looks like there's some dead wood in your way. Can you find something to help you get past? I'm stumped. Oh no, the pun's already. So I can't attack it. I noticed some stairs over to the left. Maybe try those? Oh, I did not see these. Huh, oh, look at this. Plus one vision radius, and it's a torch. So I'm guessing I can use this? Great, you used your torch to burn the stump. But be careful, items you, you can see up in this area have limited use and will break over time. Gotcha. Okay, and then what about this? Oh, I can use this to hop up. That gives me some extra vision too. So what do, the, what do these do? They send me back, got you. So if I go over here, I can dodge that a little bit. That's awesome. Oh, here we go. So as you can see, watch out the monster. This monster is not friendly. And do you hear that intense music? Whenever enemies are around, everyone is forced to move to the beat of the song. Okay, so there might be segments where I don't talk too much in this series just because I'll be trying to focus on this. Just like that. But I think I could get used to it. This is super cool though. I really, really like this. So yeah, I wanted to, you know, see if you guys have ever heard of this game before because it was sort of like under the table a little bit. I mean, they announced it in like a direct and everything. The good news is that monsters always dance in simple patterns. Learn their patterns and you'll always be able to defeat them without taking damage yourself. Okay, so. So these guys sort of move every other beat. They go one, two, one, two, one, two. So yeah, if I time with that, I can sort of hit them without them hitting me. This monster has a very simple pattern too. Oh, it's a Bogoblin. He moves every second beat and puts his arms up before he jumps. Okay. Ow. Yeah, okay, gotta be careful. 
It is weird because not only do we have to get used to the timing, we gotta get used to the enemies just being enemies. And it looks like those guys, oh, is this a sword? Whoa, look at this, we got a broad sword. Whoa, we can attack three people at once, that's awesome. Because I have played Crypt of the Necrodancer, but it's been years, I don't really remember much about it, and usually I would play the character that you don't have to play anything to the beat with. Wow, with that broad sword, you can defeat three enemies at once and strike enemies around corners. Being able to fight monsters without getting right next to them could come in handy. Got you. Now let's go through here. Man, I keep missing the beat. So yeah, that's the good thing about this broadsword. I don't have to be directly in front of them to hit them. Phew, that intense music is stopped because the enemies are gone. Now you can move faster as slow as you like. Awesome, so I don't have to worry about it as much. I can just zoom around real fast. Okay, but yeah, like I said, have you heard of this game? You plan on getting it yourself? All that kind of cool stuff, and a shovel. Cool, so we can dig out this dirt. Wow, you're fast with a shovel. And you seem right at home in this dark, spooky crypt. What kind of place are you from? <clears throat> well. You know, the, she's from Crypt of the Necrodancer. She's all very used to crypts. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's Link and Zelda. What? Look at these weird portals. You can see my friends inside of them. If anyone can figure out what's going on in Hyrule, it's Link and Zelda. But it looks like these portals are only one way. Will you visit Link or Zelda? Oh, don't make me choose. I hope I get to try both of them at some point. I feel like I really wanna see Zelda but I also really want to see Link. I feel like Link would be an easier character to play just from the little bit I know of this game, and I need it to be easier for now. I hope we can find both of them eventually, because that'd be a really big bummer if I only have to choose one. Whoa. Hey, buddy, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> have to come out, are you from the other side? Here we go. That flash it looked like the Triforce. I knew you were special. Thank you for helping to wake Link. He has been asleep for a while, so I'm going to stay with him to explain what's going on in Hyrule. You should try to find your way home. I hope our paths cross again someday soon, friend of Hyrule. Sounds like you're going to be busy for a while. I'll be around looking for a way to get back to my world. I hope to see you again. Oh, do we just get to play as Link now? Oh, we do, this is so cool. So I can't even beat anything up just yet, unless there's like a button to pick it up, which it doesn't seem like there is. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to leave this be for now. Um, oh, maybe I should have done it all as Cadence, why the chance, whoops. I'm so happy you're awake, Link, but a lot has changed in Hyrule while you've been asleep. I'll sneak with you to help make sense of everything. Oh, this is cool, the beat's faster here, though. Just trying to get used to it. Okay, can I read this sign? Hylian homeowner, Link. So yeah, I wanted to say, this. well, first off, this is very exciting. Second off, there's a lot of cool Zelda stuff coming up, if you don't know, uh, you get a small shield, it's automatically assigned to R and only Link and I can only, I think her name is Cadence, I'm gonna have to look it up soon, can use it. Hold it out to reflect projectiles or block damage using your stamina. It works only in the direction you're facing. So as you can see, you can't really turn in place in this game, so you don't have to be careful of that. Anyways, lots of awesome Zelda stuff coming up. We're playing this right now. I'm still getting done some of the Breath of the Wild stuff I've been doing, I'm still trying to complete that game 100%. But then also, Link's Awakening comes out this September, the HD remake, I'm so excited for that, I'm gonna be playing it a ton. And they announced Breath of the Wild sequel, who knows when that's gonna come out, but whenever it does, I'll definitely play it. So, oh, you know what, I see. Whoa, that's cool. Diamonds will drop only once the last enemy on the screen is defeated. Unlike rupees and keys, diamonds won't be lost when you get a game over. You can spend them at special shops you'll find throughout the world. Cool. And we get a short sword, that's awesome. So if I go back over this way, I got a couple things I can do. One thing, the rhythm's over now since I defeated all the enemies. I can do this. Can I hop up here? I can't quite, which is sort of a shame. I got some mana there, I can't really use it. I wonder if there's a way to maybe push that block up there. Hello again, Link was it? Here, take this shovel. I found a spare one while exploring. I'm still trying to figure out how I ended up in this strange world. Maybe I'll see you again, stranger. All right, well thanks. This world does have some surprising similarities to my own. For example, whenever there are monsters nearby, you have to move to the beat. You'll get used to it, trust me. Okay then, I'll keep it in mind. So I can't dig this stuff up, but I could dig up this area behind you and get another torch refill, which is nice. 
But at least in your world, if there are no enemies around, you can move as fast or as slow as you want. Handy. Okay, so that's what she was gonna say it again. Well, oh, that's very interesting. Thank you for letting me know. This game is super cool so far. So with this shovel, I know at the least we can go in here. And I'll try my best to get this game as complete as I possibly can. I don't know how far that will actually be. Oh, a telescope. You got the telescope. This allows you to see farther, revealing more screens on the map. Open the map screen by pressing plus. You may then have to press L to see it. Okay, oh, this is your inventory. On this screen, you can learn more about your items and assign some of them to buttons. There's a lot of inventory slots. Up here, up here, okay. <laughs> so, so I guess I could assign that to something if I needed to. Uh, and same thing with these other things if I needed to, like we had the shovel, the torch, and nothing in these slots. So if I take a look at the map, this is your map. It can show you where you are, where you've been, which Sheikah stones you've activated, and more. And if you collect charms, you'll have information even on areas you've never visited. Cool, so as you can see, we can sort of see a little bit about what's going on, not exactly, but we know that we're here. You can see that there's some heart containers and stuff. And I can toggle the map icons. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more, that'd be nice. Um, and then there's also system stuff that we don't have to see too much. So I think we're just about good around here. Don't think there's too much more we can do besides go back to sleep, but it won't let us. Okay, so, okay, this is reset, which has me curious. Aha, I can, look at that. All right, we get ourselves our first piece of heart. I'm thinking we're gonna have to collect, let's see for ourselves. We need to collect four of those. Collect four pieces of heart to gain a new heart container, increasing your maximum health. That'll be cool. Okay, so I'm gonna destroy all of this stuff as much as I can, and let's keep it moving. Do you remember Octavo, the musician who put you to sleep? While you were sleeping, he locked up the king and sealed off Hyrule Castle. The seal can be broken only by besting the four, his four champions. Link, we need to travel the world to find and defeat these four champions. Hey, look, a Sheikah Stone. Did you know that if you are defeated, the fate will return you to the world at any Sheikah Stone you've activated? Okay. So I'm trying to figure out these guys, these lizard dudes, which I'm guessing are Lizophos. Oh, I see. There's a lot of enemies following me around here. There we go, got you before you could get me. Water's tough, as you can see. Oh boy, just trying to get this guy. I guess he won't come out from this angle, is the thing. Whoa, he, he, he turned into a bunch of them. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, so I'll just reflect it every time. That's good to know. Okay, well, I did what I could here. Moving over this way. It looks like you're missing quite a few beats as you're moving around. You can switch to the fixed beat mode to make things a little easier. In fixed beat mode, your movement is unlocked from the beat. Or, yeah, okay. And enemies only move when you do. This can be changed any times in the options menu. Would you like to, let's try this. I just sort of want to see what it's like. Okay, so this basically makes it so that there is no to the beat. For right now, I think in today's episode, I'm gonna keep it, where's fixed beat mode? down here. I think I'm going to keep it how it is. If we're struggling, I might eventually change it to that. Whoa, whoa, okay, that made a bomb. I can light this up, didn't really do much. Huh, I do see that stone up there. Don't know how I'm gonna get to it. Ow, <laughs> whoopsies, oh, we get a diamond. Oh, I see, actually, I do know how to get over there. Maybe. Ooh, maybe I should push this the other way, actually. Looks like there might be more room. Oh no, did I just mess it up? Yes, I did. Here, what if I leave and come back? While the enemies come back, they don't, thankfully. But I get to re retry the puzzle. Can I push this in the water? I can, but unfortunately, then it's stuck. Okay, I think I know what to do, though. I mean, I don't know why I need this exactly, but there might be something up there is the thing. Can I go this way? Okay, yeah, there's lots of enemies over here. I'm not ready for that. I'm just trying to figure out this puzzle which I'm probably overcomplicating. It looks like there's something down below as well. Yeah, now I can be up here. But I don't wanna push, oh, that's a problem, right? What else would I be using the stone for? I mean, I don't think I can push, wow, that's a lot of guys. I don't think I can push stones, I, like allow me to experiment for a moment, yeah. I can't push stones into the other way. 
So I don't know what too much is going on with these rocks. I'll try to figure it out after we're out of this little dungeon thing. I don't know if that also works as like a checkpoint or something. Some areas like this one cannot be crossed without the use of certain items. And if you have the right items and use them creatively, most areas can be navigated more quickly and more safely. Okay. Hmm. So how does this ice work? So he sort of slides on it. The longer you defeat, or the longer you defeat enemies without missing a beat or taking damage, the more power is stored in the beat indicator. If you keep your streak going, enemies will drop more diamonds, you'll regain stamina more quickly, and enemies will even drop more and better loot. That's tough. Okay, anyways. How do I wanna get across here? Because as you can see, this pushes me back. So I can't quite get this chest at the moment as I just sort of slide all the way across. So unless there's like some kind of secret I can dig up around here. I mean, I think, I don't think, yeah. Holding the shield, ah, oh, will do much for me. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't see a way to get through this. For now, maybe I could push a block in here. What are the chances of that? Actually, quite high maybe? Depends on how this works. Nope, ah, uh, okay. I am a, a tad bit confused, the enemy's back. There must be a way to do that. I don't think I have the ability to do it now. Which is weird, I, I'm not sh too sure if there's exactly somewhere I'm supposed to be going at the moment. It seems like there's a lot of places to go. So I might just keep experimenting, trying to go to other places, but I still feel like I can get on top of this little mountain thing. I could do something worthwhile. But at the same time, I don't know if that would work. So I don't know, it's just like a weird placement for it, isn't it? Like if I go like this, there we go. See, that's what I was sort of looking for. But at the same time, is it? What if I did this? Hmm. Yeah, I can't quite. That's weird, I'm not really sure if there's something on the very tippity top of it, but hey, our best bet then is to move to the left. I don't like this very much. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh no, you're badly hurt, but don't worry. It looks like the fates are watching over you. So I can either continue or save and quit. I'm gonna continue, I'm not, I'm not done. Oh, well, what's happening? You may have left some fragile gear and rupees behind, but you still have the rest of your items, so our diamonds. And in this special shop, you can spend your diamonds to buy something to help you when you return to Hyrule. Really? Oh, so I even dropped like my shovel and stuff. That's weird. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I would like an extra heart piece again, but I think my best bet is probably the, the shovel. Can I talk to you? Hello, dear. This is where adventurers with unfinished business end up. It looks like the fates aren't done with you yet. Why not take something along to help you on your quest? You never know what might come in handy in the future. Okay, doesn't have anything else to say. Interesting. Huh. Activate as many Shika stones as you can. It will make things much easier for you. So I think that maybe we should just go here. Again. <laughs> I thought like there might be more I could figure out with that dungeon. All the enemies are back. Oh gosh. Ow. There we go, we got a torch back. That's good. So it looks like the enemies may occasionally drop things like that. There we go. So it looks like they, those little spidery things only w jump in certain angles. There we go. Because sometimes it's just good to wait for them to move. That's sort of the the, the, the big downside to the, the fixed beat mode is that they'll only move when you move, which means that there are gonna be times where we're gonna be stuck. While here you do have sort of the power of waiting. So we do get another diamond, even like because of those enemies respawning, which is a bit of a perk. I'm still very confused about this. Cause I can't, yeah, I'll just fall in. So I don't really know if there's really too much I can do here just yet. Really doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Yeah, what if I put a bomb down? Ah, that did something, but not really enough. 
What if I did that from a different angle though? I'm gonna try that. Maybe I'm wasting my bombs, but I'm really curious to see. If I try that from the opposite side, would that push that onto the button? I feel like it would. Oh wait, I get it. I'm a dingus, I'm a dingus, I'm such a dingus. It's so obvious, so obvious. How many people have probably been screaming at me? This is not a good start <laughs> to me solving puzzles because I could push you out of the way. Move once, move up, press the button, and those are gone. It is sort of weird. It didn't have like any sound effect or anything. Hmm. So I don't know what, what I can do, what else I can do here. That gave me a lot of rupees, which is cool. All right, come over here. There we go. Can I climb up this at all? I can't but I can push it like that. Doesn't do much for me. Very interesting. So like, what if I left and come back? It is gonna reset some things, but everything else is mostly the same. So I did figure it out. It just took me a while, because I'm just such a dingus. Okay, well, lesson learned. Okay, that's the bomb switch for whatever reason. There we go. Ow. Oh gosh, I'm about to get knocked out again. I don't like it. Is that heart still there? It's not. I don't like it. Oh, it's so tough to get used to. Let's see what's by the beach. Okay, this might be a little bit more my pace. Cause these guys, they charge forward until they hit the, hit like a wall. <laughs> they definitely are like Lazalfos, which I'm pretty sure that's what they are. All right. There we go. I'm starting to get a little used to it. Is this a bomb chew, I think it's called? Yeah, okay. I don't know how that works in this game. I don't know how it works in most games. I don't know if there's, I've played a Zelda game with a bomb chew in it or not. So what's this way? Whoa, these guys look hefty. Oh, I can only hit them from behind, right? Yep. Yep, you can see the little X on it. Okay, I'm starting to roll through this a little bit. Ah, that's a mean treasure chest. Ow, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, come on, it put the bomb in front of me, so I got stuck. It even shows you a replay of what I just did. That's not what I wanted. Man, that's tough. That makes you drop everything. I just earned up those rubies, so that's such a pain. What is this? Multiplier-based vision. I don't know if I need that. I'd rather have a heart container. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take that and we'll see how it goes. I'm really bummed by that because I just got all those rupees. I don't know what you can spend rupees on exactly. Man, um, I could just go back down here for now. Yeah, I'm sort of making silly mistakes. There we go. There we go. Ah. Okay, but we did get an extra heart. Oh, because that was a full heart piece. That wasn't even just a heart container. Wow, okay, cool, that's very nice. All right, I'm gonna get my uh, torch back. Oh, and we get the shovel for free this time. So I wanna go the other way. Wait, is there another enemy around here? Oh yeah, there's two Octoroks, or three maybe, on this island. Okay, let me figure that out real fast, and also, Anything, oh, I see. Try that again. Oh, he hid though. That's weird, how do, I, how do I do that? There we go. But then he hides again. Hmm. Oh, there he goes. There we go. If I could just keep here, you should eventually pop up, right? There it goes. So the yellow ones are more difficult than the red ones. So I'm not gonna be able to do that one this time. Nice, and there's our diamond. Okay. Gotta remember that if the beat still goes, we're not done. And it is weird, you sort of just go from place to place just trying to figure out what to do, which is definitely more like classic Zelda. Whoa. Ah, oh, it was cool. We get a Deku Seed. I wonder what that does, actually. Let me find out. Let's also read about Bomchu. It moves in a straight line and explodes after seven beats or if it makes contact with something. And then we have a Deku Seed. Collect as many of these as you can. Someone might be interested in them. Okay. Oh, dude, I didn't even see you. Get out of here. 
So it's definitely my goal to get as many diamonds as possible. See, I wanna move out of the way and then slice and dice him. I get another shovel. Can I just have multiple? Because I already got a shovel. Hmm. Apparently there's a block here. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that the way I did. What I could do is go into this thing. What is going on here? Hmm. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Weapon? Wait, what was this? Ring of piercing? Where did that go? Over this way. Weapons can pierce through shields. That's gonna be useful. Hmm. So I'm just gonna try to get as much as I can done in today's episode. Freezing enemies, scroll freezing. Okay, I'm getting it. That was not good though. <laughs> What'll that do? Miss beat. Oh no, that made me go in reverse. I don't like that very much. Okay, it's over now. Oh, I can push these statues around and raise them up into the air for some reason. I don't know why I'd wanna do that. Man, there's way too many enemies here. Way too many, way too many. I can't handle this. This is where I really like the broadsword. Okay, so I sort of want to get on top, not on top, onto the side of the red Boca Blins. There we go. Okay, I'm getting some of my health back. Whoa, is that a Lionel? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ow, 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 ow. Got him! Whoa, we got the tower shield. You got a tower shield that's automatically assigned to R and only these two can use it. An upgrade on your old shield, it can block wind and stronger attacks when you hold it up. Wow. There's a ball we can push around, but eventually it falls. So that's probably not what I was supposed to do. I gotta be careful though, because this guy could still get me. Got him. Oh man, I did it. But is there more? That's sort of the question now, isn't it? Tempo down. Guess I could have been helpful in certain circumstances. That seems to be everything to me. Wow, that was interesting. I got a lot of stuff for it. So now the question is, is there anything more I can do with these pushable blocks? I don't think so. As you can see, this one's sort of at, a, at an angle that I can't like push it downward. So I don't think there's anything I can do to it. So what's up this way? Oh, we're back here. Okay. And this guy's back. I wonder if I can get another diamond from him. No, I can get a rupee though. Something. Huh. So this is a very interesting game so far. Definitely a lot to get used to. There's a scroll up there. Huh, I wonder how I get up there without falling into deep water. I feel like at some point I must be able to yeah, I must be able to like swim in water at some point. Cause I don't want to fall down right now cause I'm gonna lose everything. Yeah, like I need to find where I can go where I can spend my my stuff. No, the map's gonna be over this way. Cause I know that like apparently, I think that's a Deku nut right there. It's very peculiar for sure. I just don't know where I'm actually intended to go. And maybe that's sort of this, you know, you know that's the fun of it. You know, you're supposed to explore and figure it out. I don't know if I missed some kind of direction it was supposed to point me towards. It'd be nice if I could get like a health refill. I mean, if I destroy these things, it should- Ah, that was a bee! Leave me alone, Mr. Bees. I need more health, not less. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop down here really fast. It does sort of bring me back to when I used to play Link's Awakening when I was younger because I was so bad at that game, I would just sort of run around and try to figure out what to do and never figure it out. <laughs> I never got that the first dungeon in that game. <laughs> oh boy. Well, maybe I got to the first dungeon. I never got to the second one. Oh, why'd I do that? I knew he was gonna jump to the side. Okay. So I might wanna go like... There we go, so he did drop another diamond. Weird which ones do and do not drop diamonds. It's also weird that you have to die to actually spend them. Anyways, wanna destroy all this stuff so we can just get more hearts and health and everything. Hearts and health, same thing. Ah! 
I'm getting used to it, though. I feel. Yeah. Oh, I messed up the beat there. Ow. That was also me just being very silly. Ah, oh, okay. I messed the beat there, but I'm fine. Okay, so can I, like, touch this just to... Ah! No! <laughs> uh, naturally, I press A thinking, oh, that'll that'll activate so I can interact with it. No! A is gonna place my bomb there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how many times I want to die in today's episode. I can get out of the heart already, which honestly might be the most helpful thing. Like, I'm, I'm curious about this long attack, but I gotta get extra health for now. <laughs> so this is kind of, you know, the kind of gameplay you can expect from here on out. I hope you're ready, I hope you're excited. A lot of enemies to deal with, and I'm not doing a good job. All right. So I don't have, I oh know I still have my cool shield. So what things do I keep? I keep my shield, that's it. Also, I kept this. The scroll of freezing. It's weird how you do keep some specific things, but not everything. So I do def desperately need some health. Let's hope these things cough up something. I coughed up one heart. I love the music in this area, it's fun. But I did see, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, what? Oh, are we in some kind of lost forest? Because I went to the right and I ended up back here. I got very confused there. What's in here? Oh, surprised to see me? I got here quickly with that loot. You can keep it. Well, thank you very much. All right, so I guess this is where I was supposed to go. I have been lost in these woods for a while now. Wait, what? Wait, what did she say? Only there was some clue on which way to go. Is there a leak in here? Wait, what, what did she say here? Sometimes I think I'm making progress, but I find myself back where I started. Huh. Well, we'll figure it out. You got the loot! Assign it to A, B, X, or Y on the inventory screen. This will let you travel instantly to any Sheikah stone you've activated all around Hyrule. That's perfect. I love this music. Okay, I sort of jumped right into that one, but. Got it. There it is. So I need to like not go to the right for right now. Well, I just, oh, I can set these on fire. I don't know if that's worth it, but I can do that. Oh no. Can I like leave you guys be for now and just try to find a place where I can get some health? Oh, I'm back here. Oh, I see. So this is why it's the Lost Forest. That's sort of tricky. I'm gonna have to figure that out, I guess. But, you know, maybe now's a good time to leave it off then. We had a lot of fun in today's episode, I feel. That was really cool. So I'm gonna get rid of this group of enemies if I can. There we go. And obviously we've dealt with these guys in the past, but we're dealing with them now. Just so that I can uh, say that it's done. Maybe we'll get another diamond out of it. There it is. Okay, but yeah, this game is super cool. I'm definitely gonna be playing more of this, so stay tuned. And also, if you're a Zelda fan, say super tuned, because we got lots more Zelda stuff coming up all over the place. Um, there we go, we got a diamond. Very, very cool. See, I had a ton of fun with this. More Cadence of Hyrule coming soon. Let me know if you'd like it, if I would change it to the beat only mode. For right now, I'm sort of keeping up with this, so I think I'm gonna be okay, but who knows? Who knows, I'm not very good at this. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Cadence of Hyrule. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Hyrule Zebra so that you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.